Good morning, families. Good morning, friends. Good morning, world. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, pets. Good morning, teacher friends. Good morning, children. We're glad you're here today. Welcome, everybody. Miss Amy here. Thumper here. It is greeting time. Hey, we have our usual four messages. Message number one. We have a smiling face. How are you? How are you today? I see Miss Amy is happy. And Kurt is happy, and Griffin is happy. Humper, where's your, where's your clip? Are you happy? I'll we'll have to find your clip. All right, let's look at message number two. Message number two, we have our weather symbols, and it says weather. Well, I understand that today here in Michigan, it's going to be about 50 degrees and let's see if you can guess and sunny yay we love that nice sunny weather all right question number three is the question of the day I mean message number three do you like to play games. Do you like to play games? Yes or no? Y-E-S or N-O? How about you, Thumper? Do you like to play games? All right, show them that. Yay! Thumper loves to play games. All right. I like to play games, too. We played hopscotch the other day, didn't we? All right, message number four. The treasure chest. What's in the treasure chest? <laughs> Let's find out. What's in here today? Yeah! <laughs> Look at that, Bumper. There's a letter L. A letter L, an uppercase L, and a lowercase L. L has straight lines. And L is for my friend Lily. Lily had a birthday over the weekend. Happy birthday, Lily. Here's your cupcake with number four. Yay, happy birthday. All right, now, guess what our activity is today, Thumper? Hmm. He's scratching his chin. He's wondering. Hmm. Uh huh. He's guessing. He's guessing that we're going to play a game. We are. We're going to go make a game. So come on, let's go. So today we're going to make um, two games. And you're going to need toilet paper, too, some paint, and a paintbrush. You'll need some something to write on and a marker or writing utensil. You'll need some tin foil and you might want to use these stickers or crayons. So the first thing, well Thumper, you're holding the word yes. What's that? He likes to play games. He answered yes to our question over there. Question of the day. So this is fun. We're gonna make a game. So you're gonna need some paint. I'm gonna finish painting this. And I'm gonna paint your toilet paper tubes. I chose to paint mine white. You 
can paint them whatever colors you'd like. So um, you, you'll need several. I think I have 11 here. 10 would be a great number if you can find 10 toilet paper rolls. All right, so that's the first thing you're gonna do. Then let them dry and you're going to give you're going to assign each toilet paper tube a color, a different color. So you can simply do that by um, making, this one's gonna be like light green. I'm just gonna put a green dot, maybe one on each side. All right, so there's green. I'm gonna leave that crayon out so I know I used it. Um, they are stuck to the paper because they dried. All right, red, green and red, green and red. Now this is really cool because we're giving each tube a different color um, so you can play the game a different way. You're gonna um, make a, um, a decoder. All right, red, take that one out, we use that one. How about orange? Let's do orange. So I'm, again, I'm making dots. You can paint yours different colors. You can um, put stripes on it. This will just be basic. All right, let's see, I did green already. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to turn this into a accounting game. Um, so I'm going to, I already know my numbers, 1 through 10. So I'm going to actually do 11 through um, 21. All right, so you're going to, you're going to use the same colors used on the tubes to make each color represent a number. Here is our scoring card for our game. All right, so we'll put that to the side. So now, to play the game, you're gonna need your foil. You're gonna need some tin foil, and you're gonna make a tin foil ball. So I'm gonna add to this one and make it a little bigger. I have these really cool tin foil sheets. It's fun. This is great, some great, um, Fine motor, squeezing, make your ball however you want. Try to make it a sphere. All right. All right, there we go. Now this is how you're gonna play the game. We set these crayons the same colors to the side because we can make another um, game, a learning game with these. Okay, so I'm gonna line up my Let's see, put them here. Uh, I kinda wanna put the, I'm gonna put three along the bottom. Two, that's not, gotta be the same size. We'll do this. You can kinda set them up however you want. It's all kind of an experiment to see what way works. All right, now I'm going to try to knock down as many as I can. I'm going to take my ball and you can either roll it or you can throw it. 
Let's see. All right. So I got a brown, an orange, a green, a black, and red. So you can cross, you can either add the points up that you get, if you're more advanced, you can cross off your list what you got. So I'm gonna try again. You can take three turns, two turns. I'm just gonna do them like this and let's see if I can get the rest down. All right, I get one more try. All right, so let's figure out what I didn't get. That's a good way to do it. Here's black. I have the black one left. So I ended up with 14 points. Maybe that's what you could do. You could add up what you have left, and that's your score. And you could play this with your family. It's pretty fun. Or you could stack them up high and try to knock them down. Another way I was thinking you could do this, if you don't know your um, alphabet. If you don't know your letters yet, you could have the dots represent letters or a combination of letters. So let's see. You could do um, maybe like mauve would represent A, B, and C, and then you could knock it down and you could name off the letters. You could do lowercase letters, um, and maybe, or you could spell your name and try to knock down the letters of your name. So it can represent different things, or maybe you're learning your color words. So you could make it a spelling game. So let's do red. So red, if you get the red one down, you have to spell the word red. R, E, D. You have to write it. All right, so that's really fun. Okay, for the second part of this game, you're gonna need your toilet paper tubes and then I'm using, I'm gonna recycle this, uh, this brown grocery bag. And you're just gonna wanna cut some squares out of the grocery bag. You could probably use paper plates. So I'm just gonna cut this out. idea is to have like a flat um, surface and I actually I have two pieces here so all right well, that's good and then I have these here and then this is kind of a fun this is a timing game so um, you're gonna want to set a timer or you don't have to but it would be fun to see how fast you could do it if you could do it. So you can, it's like a pattern. You're going to take a tube, a flat, a tube, a bag, a tube, a bag, a tube, a bag, a tube. You have to be very steady. Whoa! All right, so I wonder how high you could get your tower to go. Have fun. Gosh, Thumper, that was great. We learned two different games and, and made two different games. So I hope that was fun for everybody. 
It's time for us to say goodbye. Bailey, are you ready to say goodbye? All right, ready? Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile. Wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, friends. Yee-haw!